Hello everyone, welcome back to Art La Carte. I am finally back from my vacation. Thank you everyone who was so patient while I took a week off just to rest and relax and rejuvenate and I am ready to go for some awesome more tutorials and have tons and tons of ideas which I'll be posting some of those videos coming up soon. Before I move into the mail opening video and showing you the mail that you guys sent me in my PO box I wanted to do a little update and answer some questions that I've gotten about the contest coming up um, just to be able to clarify what's going to be going on with that. So. Let's talk about that right now. The contest celebrates reaching 50,000 subscribers here on this channel. And again, thank you guys so much for helping me to achieve that goal. That's amazing. So the contest is going to go live on Saturday, November 1st. All times that I give you will be Pacific Standard Time Zones. So you need to check and see what time zone you're in, what time zone I'm in, and do the math so you can kind of figure it out. The way it's going to work, it's a scavenger hunt contest. That means I'm going to be telling you to find certain things that have happened in previous videos. The first person to find that thing um, and let me know and again I'll explain that in the video when's the price there's gonna be three of these videos and I'm gonna be releasing them at three different intervals because I know that around the world one time zone someone's gonna be sleeping and it's not fair I'm stretching it out just a little bit so the first one's going to go live at 6 a.m. Saturday morning Pacific Center time so boom super early the second will go live at 3 p.m. Pacific Center Time. And the last one will go live at 9 p.m. Pacific Center Time. So three different videos, 6 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. Pacific Center Time on Saturday, November 1st. So you're going to be one to watch for those videos, and good luck hunting and all that good stuff. So hopefully that answers some of the questions that you have. And again, it's open for anyone around the world, whether you've won a contest or not. It's just I'm celebrating, so everyone's able to enter. I'll have all the information listed with each of those videos so that you'll know exactly how to enter and uh, be able to win that contest. So I'm super excited. Ah! Upcoming videos, I have a lot of fun ideas. One, in fact, I got a sneak peek of something really cool coming up by Disney next month. Um, if you guys are Disney fans, you probably know. And there's a little sneak peek right there. If you know who that guy is, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to draw him. And for those of you who like Disney stuff, um, my big expenditure of souvenirs, I went crazy. And I bought these three little girls right back here. My little animated Disney dolls. They're so cute. I had such a hard time choosing which ones I wanted. And I know I have Anna and why don't I have Elsa? I just, I couldn't buy them all. <laughs> I know, it just seems wrong now that I got Anna and didn't get Elsa. But I got Anna, got Rapunzel from Tangled, and I got Pocahontas just because she had the sweetest face ever. I couldn't leave her behind. Look at that face. How could you leave it behind? So yeah. Okay, so I've blabbered enough and it's time to get on to the mail opening video. And again, thank you guys so much for sending me all this amazing mail. I can't wait. I have to go check my post office to see if there's anything new and it's like Christmas. So thank you guys so much for joining me and until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Now, on to the mail opening video. So let's open some of your guys' mail. So this first one comes from Cynthia in Texas. So right there. Bam, Cynthia. So let's open up Cynthia. I don't have as many this time as I did the month before. I think everyone went back to school. So I'll be able to open them up on camera. That's going to be fun. So Cynthia sent a little letter here. Nice handwriting, Cynthia. Let's see. Normally I don't read these out loud, but I'm going to see about reading them out loud and see if I have enough time. There's a car. So, <laughs> so Cynthia says, Hi Valerie, I'd like to ask you if you can draw one of my favorite characters. Goldie is a golden yellow golden retriever. He also is a high-tempered or rude mean dog and also is a lot bigger for a dog. He wears a red collar. If you want to know more about him or his past, just write back. Oh, she leaves it there. If I want to know more, you must write back. <laughs> Thanks, Art a la carte, Cynthia. Very cool. And so let's see what picture she sent. So Cynthia sent... <gasps> there's her drawing. So there's Cynthia's drawing of Goldie the Golden Retriever. Very well done. I love the trees in the background. Contemplating his life. So next, boom boom, right here. It doesn't say who it's from. It's from Los Angeles. So let's find out who it's from. Nice envelope. There we go. Double envelope. Maybe it's wedding invitation. 
All right, so there's a little letter and a note in here. And a very cool drawing. Well, let's read the note first. This is from May. Hello, I hope you like my drawing of a baby with a book on her head with her little baby puppy. So there's the drawing. I love it! That shadowing is amazing. Let's finish reading the letter. Thank you for all of your videos. Whenever I watch them, it makes me do art more. I like drawing and sometimes I can't draw horses because I lost motivation. I have a question. How do you draw without a reference? I often can't draw without a reference. I don't copy them, but I wish I can draw without reference. I like drawing since I was a kid. I have tried a lot of different art forms and I like them all. And again, I hope you like my drawing. So in May's letter, she asks a couple of questions and um, I'll see about making a tutorial for those, May. So you guys, you guys will have to wait until later. All right, so this one, oh, I love this. This one is from the Netherlands. I actually have a Netherlands stamp. That's so cool. I don't think I've gotten any, any this is my first Netherlands um, thing. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see how adorably cute this is? Oh my goodness! I love this. I haven't even read the letters. I'm still... I love this. This is so cute. Thank you so much. Who are you? Hi Valerie, your art channel on YouTube is just amazing. How you create everything. You are a big inspiration to everyone. I hope you like my art too. The girl is on the front is Rin Kog... It's made by me. Could you please, please visit my YouTube channel? Can't wait to see more videos from you. My favorite is how to draw yourself as a cartoon character. So lovely. Could you please write back or draw something back? I would be very happy. So Maud has a YouTube channel. I'm going to put her YouTube channel link right here so you guys can go check out her videos as well. I'm definitely going to go over there and take a peek at that. So thank you so much. Bam, this is gorgeous. All right, so this is from this letter here, which has some really great art. Juliana and a cool little horse right there. So let's see what Juliana has to say. Oh, lots of fun stuff in here. This is a huge letter. Thank you. Dear Art a la carte, my name is Juliana and I'm 12 years old. I am new to your channel and I love when you say God bless. I am a Christian. I love horses and love taking riding lessons. I was wondering if you could do a video on a Pegasus wing I'm having trouble with the feathers. And could you please do a video on how to draw chickens because I have 12. Quick question. Do you ever get a little graphite in your skin when you use the kneaded eraser? Because I do. Julia, thanks for the sweet letter and uh, for the funny joke. That was very funny. And yeah, I will put your request for chickens in my book of requests. I have six, six chickens. Six, yes, I have six chickens, so they're always fun to draw. So I'll have some good references to go off of. So let's look at her artwork here. <laughs> So here is this fun drawing that she did of these horses, and it says down here, color me. <laughs> I love coloring, so I will color that. And then there is this very beautiful horse picture here. She said that she drew some of these from her prior horse models. And if this is the one that you drew off of, I think I might even have this. I collected prior models when I was younger, so. And this is her own creation. It's called Animens. <laughs> very creative. Thank you so much, Juliana. So this one is from Victoria, and she is from British Columbia. Ooh, there's so many things. Hey, I love stuff. <laughs> so first there is a little card here. It says little things on it, and I love the back has this amazingly adorable little sticker of a seashell. I love seashells. I live right next to the ocean, so how to open this without breaking the sticker. We did it. Okay. Oh, these are little drawings she did. Let's stop and read the letter first. Here's the letter. It says, Dear Valerie, my name is Victoria and I'm 11 years old. 
I love your videos. When I have a when I have a bad day, I like watching your videos and they make me smile. You inspire so many people and your tutorials are very helpful. Also, I hope you like my drawings. This is a cartoon me. Can you put this in the mail time video? So this is the letter that she wrote me and there is an adorable self little cartoon portrait of Victoria and then this little, you can see a little flower right there. Very pretty. So Victoria is 11 and so these are some of the drawings she did. Oh, Victoria, this is, this is like the month of like make me shocked with beautiful paintings and drawing. Look at the highlighting and shadowing on that. Victoria, that is fantastic. And I'm curious, what did you use to color? Did you use Copic? I don't know. It looks like a marker. I bet you used Copic. Let me know, Victoria. Comment below and say, this is me, Victoria. And tell me what you used to make this. What medium? Wow, here's another one. Beautiful flower by Victoria. Again, that just vibrant color. Victoria for 11, you have an amazing style already. Okay, so now on to what is in this envelope. It's the little things she, she says. <laughs> this is a portrait of me and it is fantastic. I love it. And then, I love you too. Thank you, Victoria. This package was amazing and I absolutely adored everything in it. And these paintings, fantastic. All this, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, and the last one from today, is this ginormical package here from the UK. Also my first UK, but I have to show you the stamp. Okay, so I'm a little bit of a nerd. Check out that stamp, look how big this stamp is, there's my finger. Why can't we have stamps that are that cool? I mean, we have, we had Pixar stamps, that was kind of fun. We don't have stamps this cool? That is so fun. I'm keeping all these stamps, especially the ones that come from different countries. I am, I have a, don't have a stamp collection, but I do now. <laughs> Here is the letter first, and it's from, let's see, announce your name right. I'm gonna go with Corinza. I'm so sorry if that's not how you pronounce your name. We're gonna go with Corinza. So Corinza says, I've watched Dear Art of the Clark slash Valerie. I watch your videos for almost a year now and enjoy them very much. They've helped me try new things like drawing living things. You've invited your viewers to send you samples of their artwork, so I thought I would send you some of mine. I hope you enjoy them. Sincerely, Carenza. Yes, here are some ideas if you run out. A fire, a fireplace, a sheep, and a chicken. Well, I've got two chicken requests, so I think that's moving that up requests. Uh oh, making up words again. Ta -da -da. It's the time of the show where Valerie makes up words. So, yes, two requests for chickens. So I think chickens are definitely up there on the requests. So first is the dog. I don't remember the dog's name from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. But there's, isn't that from there? I'm positive that's from there. Yeah, that's from there, right? Yeah, because it's Apple Jacks. Let me know. I might be wrong. But there's a lot of My Little Pony work, so I'm fairly positive it's from my little pony. So then here's Derpy. <laughs> I love his eyes. Or is it her? I don't know. This is the best picture ever because it's a gummy eraser. Get it? The alligator's name is Gummy. Get it? The alligator's name is Gummy and he's holding a eraser. It's a gummy eraser. It's an art joke. All the artists out there, thumbs up this video for the awesome art joke. That is hilarious. I'm keeping this for, I'm keeping all of them, but that is fun. This one looks like there's a story going on. I don't know what's going on. So it's Pinkie Pie, and she's standing on a balcony looking kind of pinky shy, and then there is a mysterious someone. A mysterious someone. Pinkie Pie. I wanna know what's going on in that story. So here's a really cute little pony, and she's got a little music note and a little pencil on her cutie mark. So that is cute. I like when you guys make up your own My Little Ponies. You make them so much fun. Then we have this delicious and yet non-fattening cupcake. Oh, one of my challenges, the nightmare. Ah! Don't be scared. <laughs> That's great. It's got some good bat wings. And then to finish it off, there is an amazing painting. I love this. So it's watercolor. It's a, it depicts a storm and this very rough seas and there's a boat. But 
off in the corner here is a lighthouse shining its light to guide this boat to safety. I love that. As you guys know, I live near the ocean, and um, so we have lighthouses around where I live, and so I love lighthouses, and that is beautiful. Last minute entry, I just went to the mailbox and picked this one up, and this one's really fun because actually this is from Will, and Will actually lives in the same town as I am, so... Well, first sent this really cute picture of a cat. Very cute. I love it. It looks like it's dancing. It's a dancing cat. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then Will's letters. It says, Dear Valerie, my name is Will. I love your YouTube videos. I have drawn a picture of one of my cats. Her name is Padawan. I also have a cat named Mopper, a rabbit named Monsieur Lepen, and a dog named Abby. I watched one of your mail video opening videos and realized that you live in North Bend, Oregon. Guess what? So do I. I decided to write a letter. I want to know if you would draw a sandstorm from Warrior Cats. She is an orange tabby she cat. She is also Firestar's mate. Sandstorm has a motherly nature, yet is also feisty. Thank you for your instructional video. Sincerely, Will. Thank you, Will, for your letter and your really cool little cat drawing. I really like them. And I will see about posting some more warrior cat videos um, in the future. So I've been getting lots of requests for those. So um, who knows? Maybe that one will be one of them. That was some amazing mail and all that. So thank you guys one and all for sending me such beautiful pieces of artwork. And now I have to choose who I'm going to send one back to. Oh, this one's, it gets harder and harder and harder to do this, you know that. I'm going to probably have to put everyone's name into a bowl and just draw one out because I want to send one to every single person. So I am going to choose and then get a card out to you with some artwork and fun things in there. So for those of you guys who don't know how I do this is every month-ish, I, I try to do it once a month, um... I do a mail opening video. This is for just the mail that people actually send to my P.O. box. And so then after that, I pick one person that I will write back personally, and I send them a little piece of artwork and uh, just thank them for it, for their work. So um, there's no telling who gets chosen um, until the end of this video. Then I'll reveal my resources and tell you who I chose. Um, but yeah. So if you are interested in sending me something to my P.O. Box, um, I'll put my P.O. Box information, boom, right here. And then I'll also put it in the description box below so you can write that down and send something to me. So thank you guys so much. Not just for those of you guys who sent me stuff. I mean, thank you for that. But for you guys who have been watching and hanging out with me and enjoy watching these kinds of tutorial, not tutorial, this is not a tutorial, mail opening videos. I have, a lot of you guys said you really enjoy these and uh, I was hoping that... I mean, I don't know how fun it is to watch someone else get mail, but you guys seem to think it's fun. So I will keep doing mail opening videos as long as you guys think they're fun. <laughs> if you're brand new, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And check out my other videos. There's tons and tons of tutorials on all different kinds of topics. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!